Good morning everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Chico and today we are going to talk about this uh, press release from Bureau of Immigration that urges airlines not to board aliens who don't have visas. If you can remember, I had a vlog regarding temporary arrival travel restrictions that uh, took effect on November 1st, 2020. And I mentioned about the following people who are allowed to enter the Philippines. So I'll just flash this to your screen so that your memory will be refreshed so these are the following persons who are allowed to enter the philippines filipinos foreign spouse and minor children of filipinos children with special needs regardless of age of filipinos foreign parent of minor filipinos foreign parent of Filipino children with special needs regardless of age, accredited foreign government and international organization officials and their dependents, foreign airline crew members, foreign seafarers with 9C visa. Okay, so these are the other foreign nationals who are allowed in the Philippines for as long as they have the following visas. Section 13, Series of Commonwealth Act 613, and then we have RA7919 visa, EO324 visa, native born visa, temporary resident visa, MCL07021, EO226 visa, 47A2 visa, and also these foreign nationals with visas issued by the following economic zones, the APECO and the SBMA. But these people to comply with the IATF conditions. Now, as of November 4th, 2020, as I've mentioned, the Bureau of Immigration appealed to the different airlines not to board uh, foreigners bound to the Philippines who do not have the appropriate visas to enter the country. According to Mr. Jaime Morente, the Bureau of Immigration Commissioner, that there were foreigners who were turned back at the Ninoy Aquino International Airport because because they don't have the necessary visas. They have already mentioned that those without an existing valid visa, including, okay, listen, including those who previously enjoyed visa-free privileges, must apply for an entry visa at the nearest Philippine Foreign Service post. He also added that uh, similar reports of excluded foreign passengers were also received from the international airports in Mactan, Cebu, and Clark in Pampanga. Morente added, it is the responsibility of the airlines to see to it that foreigners traveling to the Philippines are properly visaed as they themselves would be inconvenienced if their passengers are excluded upon arriving at the airports. According to him, and I quote, Apart from shouldering the cost of returning these aliens to their port or origin, it is also the responsibility of the airlines to defray the expenses of their accommodation at the airport while awaiting their return flights. End of quote. So these issuances of visas are posted on the uh, Bureau of Immigration's website and other social media accounts for the proper information of the, the traveling public and the Bureau's stakeholders. So the Bureau of Immigration said, and I quote, We understand that sudden change in policy happens worldwide because of the pandemic. Borders keep on opening and closing depending on the number of COVID-19 cases. Hence, we are in close coordination with airlines to update them on the policies as directed by the IATF. We are thankful for their cooperation. It's a difficult time for everyone, especially for the airline industry. And through their support, we are able to implement these measures to avoid the surge of cases in the country. End of quote. So it is actually understandable that most of those excluded foreign nationals are those who have Filipino spouses. Because as far as I can remember, there are kababayan of ours who have been messaging me asking about foreign nationals entering the country. And I always tell them that uh, for as long as they have the valid visa that the Bureau of Immigration requires them, 
they can be allowed to enter the Philippines. Of course, we understand the necessity of this family members like the foreign nationals with um, the Filipino families in the Philippines to really connect with them. But then you have to understand that you have to follow certain protocols. You cannot just enter the Philippines without the valid visa. As the Bureau of Immigration mentioned, even those who have been enjoying free visa has to apply for a Philippine entry visa. So according to the Bureau of Immigration, foreign nationals with visas pursuant to Executive Order Number 226 as amended by Republic Act Number 8756, those with 47A2 visas and those visas issued by the Aurora Pacific Economic Zone and Freeport Authority as well as the Subic Bay Metropolitan Authority are now allowed to enter the country. Okay, I've already mentioned that a while ago. So the Bureau of Immigration emphasized that those who are eligible to enter under a tourist status are still required to secure an entry visa from Philippine embassies or consulates prior to arrival. So apart from those mentioned accredited foreign government and international organization officials and their dependents, foreign airline crew members, foreign seafarers with 9C visas, and foreigners with long-term visas are also allowed. So here is also another important point. So travelers are still required to undergo regular immigration inspection and present documents needed for their travel. So arriving passengers are required to pre-book accredited quarantine facilities before they arrive and are still subject to the maximum capacity of inbound passengers set by airport authorities. So, so much with that everyone, let's move on to the travel exemption fee scam related to entry of foreign nationals into the Philippines. So, the Department of Foreign Affairs warns the public against any form of scam related to the entry of foreign nationals into the Philippines. The Department of Foreign Affairs does not collect Okay, I repeat, does not collect travel exemption fee or any kind of fee whatsoever for the purpose of allowing foreign nationals to enter the country. Moreover, the Department of Foreign Affairs reiterates that entry restrictions are still currently in place. Foreign nationals should be guided by the latest advisory of the Bureau of Immigration as to who are allowed to enter the Philippines during the state of public health emergency so i hope this issue has been clarified for more questions i'll be posting the uh, website of the department of foreign affairs and the bureau of immigration and as well as their contact numbers so in case you want to ask something or you want to clarify something you can go directly to their website all right and also if you have other questions for me as well please feel free to paste those questions in the comments box section and don't forget to like share and subscribe this video so that we may be able to help other people who are actually looking for some information and don't forget if you would like to join our Facebook group I'll be flashing it on your screen and please follow my Facebook page Chico Amadeo PH I will see you guys in my next video spread love and not hate everyone love one another and stay safe bye